Hi everyone, this is Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. Today, I have a quick tip for you. In a recent video, I did a presentation where I showed you how to integrate with uh, Outlook and take those appointments that you might have and create a page in OneNote where you can store your meeting notes. Today, the quick tip is how to take those meeting notes and share them with the participants of that particular meeting. So let's look at the computer and I'll show you how to get this done. All right, well, as you can see here in um, my OneNote notebook, I have a meeting uh, page that I created for a council meeting that we were having at church. This is a fake meeting I made up just for demonstration purposes. Um, so uh, that's why we're meeting at Red Robin because why not have um, onion rings if you're gonna have a meeting? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> In an earlier video, I showed you how you could use the integration of Outlook, Calendar, and OneNote to create meeting notes. So if you go up here to your home menu and you go down to meeting details, uh, today I have no meeting scheduled, but the meeting that I created this from was on a different day. So let me show you that. If I go back into my calendar, it was on the 7th. And here's my council meeting at Red Robin. So I showed you how to do that. I showed you that it then created this uh, great page with the meeting information, the attendees, and the invitation message, which uh, when you first look at it is like this. This is the page that it creates. I then showed you how to expand. In the body of the email, I had the agenda for the meeting. And I showed you how I use different color writing to take notes, example up here for tornado victims to pray about. And then down here, I also added a task item for myself uh, using my uh, customized tabs that I use. So that's an action item that I have to do. All right. Now, after that video went up, a lot of people liked it. And I did get questions about, you said something in the video about being able to share, but you didn't talk about that. And so I thought I would quickly come on today, do a quick tip and show you how to share these minutes uh, with the people who attended the meeting. Okay. So there's two ways that I might do this. If this were a group of people like a production team that I was working with, or uh, in this case, it happens to be the leaders, uh, some of the leaders at church. One thing that I might think about doing is setting up a shared notebook that everybody had an opportunity to look at. Uh, so I could share that notebook with all of the leaders of the, let's say in this example, all of the leaders of the church would have access to this notebook and they would be able to see all of the minutes and, you know, all of the discussion and all of that kind of thing. All right. That would be one way to do it. That's not how I'm doing it today. This is my own personal notebook and I was taking meeting uh, minutes for myself. But if I was asked to share those minutes with someone, um, Microsoft OneNote now has this great share button up here in the top right hand corner. And when you click on share, you see a number of different options. It says share entire notebook, which we just talked about, copy a link to the notebook and anybody that had that link would be able to come in and modify. That's not what I want to do. I just want to email a copy of this page to the participants of this meeting. Okay. So I'm going to click on that. And when I do that, I get an email that looks like this. And you can see here that I have, uh, all of the people who were participating in the meeting, I have the subject of the meeting, and then I have the agenda listed here with my notes. So there's my blue note about the tornado victims, and there is my task item about something that I need to do. Okay. So all I have to do here is, you know, I could just put up here in the subject council meeting minutes and perhaps write the date of when that council meeting was because I like to put as much information in the subject as possible. Okay. All right. So 
Uh, from this point, all I need to do is hit the send button and off it goes. Okay. Now I'm not actually going to send this today because like I said, this was a fake meeting set up just for demonstration purposes, but I hope you get the idea. You can share any page in OneNote simply by going up here to the share button. Okay. So let's say for example, you had, um, let's say, let's use this recipe for an example. So I have a recipe here for three ingredient ice cream. Let's say I wanted to send that to my sister. All I need to do is go up here to the share button, copy email of this page. It will come up and you see the body of the information is right there in the email. I can then type who I want to send it to and off it goes. That's a great additional integration that I absolutely love about OneNote and Outlook. Anyway, that's all I wanted to share with you today in this quick tip. Knowing that you can share the pages that you create in OneNote with others is a great thing. Anyway, here's hoping that you can live a more organized and simplified life through better planning. I use OneNote. Until next time. Okay. Bye.